Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the electronics for the winch for our K2 snowplow onto our 2010 F250 Super Duty. As you can see here, the kit comes with everything we need to get this installed onto our truck to operate our, our winch for our plow. It comes with our control box, which also has the leads that go to our battery and to the plow winch. It comes with the mounting bracket, it goes on the bottom of your control box so you can mount this on. It also comes with your wireless receiver and your wireless transmitter if you want to use wirelessly. It has the battery that goes with it. And also, if you're not going to hook up the wireless version, it also comes with your control switch that you just plug into your control box plus all your hardware for mounting this thing up. Find a location where we can actually install this. Um, as you can see here, this being a, a diesel, not much room under the hood. So what we've come up with is we've come up with a location right here on the front by the headlight where we're going to be installing our mounting bracket for our control box. So we're gonna install the mounting bracket, get our control box on here, and then we'll start actually hooking up the wires and show you where those go. So <laughs> we have our bracket mounted, then we can put our control unit box onto the mounting bracket. Okay, then we're going to want to take our wires for that go to the power, run those up through here. Now that we've got our wires running up here to the battery for our control unit, we're going to go ahead and hook those up. Okay, now that those are hooked up, at this point we can go ahead and start running our wiring for our plow that hooks up to our plow. And what we're going to do is we're just going to find a nice comfortable spot for this wire to lay down in here where we can kind of strap it out of the way. We're using some zip strips, we'll zip strip it in and run it down where it'll come out by our hitch. All right, once we've got our receiver hooked up for our wireless remote, the next thing we got to do, because if you try using your wireless and it doesn't work, well, you got to take it out of this, this protective cover that it comes in, remove the back, and install the battery, because without the battery, it just ain't going to work, guys. So uh, it's kind of a little tough to get out of this case, but that's okay because this helps protect this so that if you drop it, you don't break it. There we go. That's better. All right, once we have it all installed, then it's just a matter of plugging this bad boy in. And we'll uh, want to make sure that you raise your wheels. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how easy and simple it is to install the electronics for our K2 snow plow. Now, when you get this plow, something to keep in mind, this plow comes with the electronics, comes with the plow, everything you see here. So it it's also has to be assembled. So if you need to find out how to assemble the plow, see our video on how to assemble the K2 snow plow. And only the one thing left to do now is to play around with this thing and see how well it works. So until next time, remember, happy motoring. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this plow go up and down. Yay! <laughs>